are you? Today, Kanji video number 16 of JLPT and 4. Fuyu, Fuyu, this is winter, Fuyu. But we can also pronounce this Kanji in Onyomi, To, the stroke order. The first one is this red one, just like no from katakana, one. And now this uh, black one, two. And this is like ku from katakana, kakiku. And now you try to write like ta from katakana, tachitute to ta, but not till here, but longer like this, and you open. Then the last one, tu, ten, ten. The first one, green one, and the last one is this red line. Winter vacations, winter holidays. Fuyu yasumi, fuyu yasumi. Do you remember we learned natsu yasumi, summer vacation, but instead of natsu, we change to fuyu. Then this is winter vacation. You say this in English, Christmas holidays, but for, for us, this is fuyu yasumi. Four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, or fall, and winter. And haru, natsu, aki, fuyu. But we pronounce like this in onyomi, shunka shuto. Shunka shuto. This means four seasons. Midwinter, mafuyu, mafuyu. Do you remember we learned manatsu? This is midsummer, midsummer. But now instead of natsu, fuyu. Midwinter, mafuyu. The winter solstice, toji, toji. This is the longest night of a year. Summer solstice, geishi. This kanji is natsu, natsu. But we must read in onyomi, geishi. Here, shi. And this is toji. This is the kanji of the winter. And be careful, here we pronounce with ji, toji. Geshi here the same kanji but here we pronounce with shi geshi toji hibernation tomin and the verb tomin shimas to hibernate these kanjis express the meaning to this is the winter and winter and min nemurimas to sleep sleep during the winter hot Atsui, atsui. This kanji, the pronunciation is atsu. So you must add i, i hiragana, atsui. This is i adjective. Hot, Ooh, hot. And onyomi, this is sho. Looking at this kanji, here, this is hi, the sun. Sun. So this hot means hot in the weather. Oh, today it's hot in this meaning. The stroke order, very easy too, because as you see, this is the day and you, you know it already. And this part, you also know it, this is mono or sha, the person, so the combination. So at first, this one, one, two, three, four. As you see, this is like, like in this way, and also this quite short, this is long. This part is longer, okay? And now this one. This red line, one. The black one, two. Three, blue one. This part is tsuchi, the soil, or doyobi, Saturday, right? And now this green one from here, shun, in the center. And now again, the same as this, hi. But the only difference is this is longer, not so short here, longer, because then your your kanji looks better. One, two, three, four, the same one, but longer and thinner, the last one. Last summer heat, zansho, zansho. This kanji, zan, it comes from the verb, noko, nokorimasu. Nokorimasu, it means it still stays here, still, still they are here. There's here. So, zansho, still there's a hot here. This means zansho, last summer heat. Summer vacation spot or summer resort. Hishochi, 
he s h o t i Well, this chi, it means the place. And he s h o s h o hot. And he, this, is, this means to avoid. The place to avoid heat. This is h i s h o c h i summer resort. But maybe you think, well, I go to the beach in the summer. But in the beach, this hot, it's hot. But it's very nice and hot. But maybe in the city, it's hot. But it's not nice at all. So, h i s h o c h i is to avoid, avoid this kind of hot in the city. And you go to the summer. Beautiful place, the summer resort. Hishochi, cold, cold weather. Samui, samui, this is also an adjective. And this kanji we pronounce samu. So samu, and you must add i. Samui. And oyomi is kan. Now the stroke order. At first, ukamuri. This part, this is like u from katakana, but this is kamuri. The first one, red one, one, two, here the black one, and now blue one, three, and like here. Now the part of the center. The first one is this green one, one, and now attention, not one, two, three, like this, one, and now this red one, two, the vertical, and the next one, this black one, vertical, and these two. If you write a little bit like this, it's better, okay? And now, this blue line in the center. And this is a little bit shorter than this green one. A little bit shorter. And the last one, the last green line, this one. And this is longer, like this. Now, this part is like hachi eight of kanji or ha from katakana. So the first one, this red one, one. And This one, black one, two. So, like a tune, tune. And now the last one is this ten, ten. The blue one first, and the last one green, like this. Cold wave. Kanpa. We read in Onyomi, kanpa. Well, this kan, it means, you know, cold, the samui. And this pa here is pa, but we can read this one, only this one in onyo,、uh, Kunyomi. Nami. Nami, it means wave, wave in the sea, waves. Kampa, so cold wave. Kampa, special training of martial arts that is conducted in one very, very cold day in midwinter, midwinter season. This is Kangeiko. Kangeiko. Only Keiko with a ten ten. Keiko with this. Keiko is the training of martial arts. And kan, this kanji is cold. So, this is a very special one in a cold day in, in outdoor. The expression, I feel a chill. I have a chill. This is samu ke ga shimas with ga. And samu, the samui, cold. Here, we pronounce ke, but this kanji is ki. Ki is inner energy. So, samuke, the inner energy is cold. Samuke ga with ga shimas. The verb to shimas. And this is the expression I feel a chill. Nice and warm. Atatakai. So, this is not hot. Warm. And also, it's so nice. This is atatakai. This kanji pronounced till atata. Atata. So we must put kai. We must write kai. Atata kai. This is e adjective. Atata kai. And onyomi is dan. Spring is warm and nice. Haru wa atata kai desu. So when you use atata kai, this word, then it means warm, but always so nice and you like it. And if you think it's too hot and you don't like it, Then you don't use, you shouldn't use atatakai, but you should use atsui, hot. Heating, dambo, dambo, heating. Global warming, chikyu ondanka, chikyu ondanka. Chikyu, it means the earth where we live, 
earth and on this kanji on the temperature on do dan atatakai warm ka it means to change so chikyu on dan ka global warming cool and nice suzushi suzushi this kanji we pronounce till suzu suzu so you must add shi and e suzushi this is e adjective cool and nice when you say suzushi you like it always you like it if it's too cold then you say samui this is oh it's cold i'm cold samui but cool and very nice and you like it then you use suzushi now the stroke order it's quite easy the left part is sanzui this is like shi from katakana and sanzui is something to do with water it's ni san the right part you know it this is like tokyo kyo or kyoto the kyo this one the first one this green one one and now red one two and here this is like kuchi the mouth or ro larigredo from katakana it's ni and san and now this red line and this is quite long four and jump and now this black one and blue one so when it's warm and nice atata kai atata kai this is very nice and cool and nice suzushi suzushi so atata kai and suzushi you feel very good and when you use samui and atsui maybe you don't like it because cold and hot samui atsui now a quiz time with three translations into japanese and i want you to use kanji ichiban me bears and squirrels and so on hibernate during the winter bear kuma we can write in kanji like this kuma or you can write in hiragana kuma or even in katakana kuma squirrel this this nibame it was very hot yesterday but today it became cool sabame saigo desu the march march oh it's still cold but sometimes there are warm days today we learn the kanjis of your feeling about the weather such as warm hot cool cool and nice and cold and i want you to use these kanjis in your everyday life if you liked this video please don't forget to give me a like and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do it to to keep on learning japanese with me and if you can share my videos with your friends you will help me a lot ikaga deshita ka kyou mo mata atarashii kanji o itsutsu oboemashita ne toku ni kiyon ni taishite no watashi tachi ga kanjiru kanji kata tatoe wa atatakai oh atsui o suzushii kimochi ga ii ne oh samui kyou wa samui toyu koto o benkyou shimashita よく使われる漢字ですから、ぜひ覚えてほしいと思います。今日の漢字は、訓読みだけでも十分に使えますが、でも、音読みの熟語までちゃんと知ってると、随分語彙が増えていいですよね。このように、私のチャンネルでは、日本語を少しずつ詳しく説明しています。このビデオが良かったなと思ってくださったら、ぜひ、いいねボタンとチャンネル登録、忘れないでお願いします。そして私のビデオをお友達に紹介してくださったら本当に嬉しいです。ぜひお願いいたします。ではまた次のビデオでお会いできるのをとても楽しみにしています。絶対来てください。じゃあねー、またねー。